protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves now and good luck to both you guys. Terrific condition. And he will be taking Ali, who for me is a good rugged champion. Very strong, he's an aggressive southpaw. WBC eliminator against the Thai CP Freshmark, where or just came in, came in in a bit too straight aligned and gave you know, the contest. Thought Bala would come forward on the back foot, but he likes to dictate from the centre of the ring. He's not been able. Inoue has arguably got stronger and better with each contest that's passed, and always a difficult. Might be the case here. But in a contest of this magnitude, he'll know. He does the range and sets it up. He's seen taking his feet back when Barley commits there as he does. And can that was lovely. Snappy counter punch in there. He's doing a better job. You see those lateral movements, little steps to the outside. And again, down, as you say, keeping that distance behind him in order to try set those traps. Absolutely. You wouldn't box him to be able to get into range and out, as does his brother. Just the war of the front hands. He tries to start it slowly, so he's going to have to get going out of the ring there. And again, and of course, Darren, we know that in nip and tuck fights, as this has the feeling it, the champion can sometimes be favoured. But of course, we must remember that he's the away fighter tonight in there. Criminal impact on the judges. It's close. I don't think any of that's going to fade. More off balance there from Abali. There's a nice. Travelled over to Las Vegas to take on Rasheed Warren. And he uses it like his brother in so many different ways as a distance and rangeable against the Southport. He's trying to check hook his way in, but Obali caught it. He's landed of the fight so far. Yeah, this is good stuff from Obali now. Punches. Seen some nice little short uppercuts go in. We'll see here. I think it's early in the round. That was a good shot. Body shot from Anue there. It was off balance. Anue. Previous two tests. The concentration levels on both have to be spot on. Switch off for a second here, you will be of a Bali. That was his money party three, Darren. He stays. Oh, would he love to get through this and secure a big money fight to get Ooh. Landed a good southpaw right hook now. Right. And Paz wobble to Kuma and Noe. Backs him into the ropes and just pushed him back through sheer force. Lee brother for the first time in his career now in a spot of bother. Tries to get out next. Not yet pressing the action. Doesn't know quite how her the man in good work. Good positive stuff. Check for position at centre ring. First crisis of his career. Big puncher too. And he dealt with it pretty well. Yeah, he has. He's regrouped. Group well, but that was that was a good shot from Obali. Credit to Nua. He sort of took the sting out of the shot. You see there he's almost leaning back here, but he's taking it well. He got back into the fight, but there's definitely an Obali round there. Just looking at some of hair to match <laughs> to the body. <laughs> Obali against Villanueva in his first defence. Tentativity over a period of time that had Villanueva eventually backtracking to a point where the corner pulled him out in between round six and seven. Out with real intent, he knows he can hurt his opponent. They switched on, but good positive start from Obali in the last round so cleanly. This is where Barley wants to try and get off his best work. Just glance the left hand and in a short right gets himself a little bit more space. Check left hook. Yeah, Barley's really making it. Just keep moving. Anyway, really got to rely on them now. It's a good counter right hand as well. He exits to look for that check left hook, move on to the next. Oh, oh shot. big left hand of his own, down for the first time in his career. Takuman's up, his eyes looks down at his father Shingo and he's on his feet to starting to hunt and the new age just for the moment in survival mode. Yeah, very aggressive with his feet now. Well, he got back up to his feet, trying to survive, but it was a lovely left hand from Abali. Stuff, really good stuff. And his older brother considered the puncher in this division, but Ubali not far behind him from what we've seen. Something his brother does so well. Takuma's brother does so well. But there we see a Bali textbook that was. Ubali after a, a KG opener and stuck. Yeah, you're right there. It is almost man v boy. That was a good right uppercut from Manue there. But at the minute, walking forward. Letting be his feet. 
second best, and it's down to that power to walk Kibali on to too many of those counters straight by. You need to provide with some of the artillery to act as a deterrent. He just hasn't got that exactly. You want, you know, you want that shot to be able to keep your opponent off in a 12 round contest like this. But this is for Bali here. Back to Nui onto the, the ring. Get behind that jab. Bali almost let him off there. Had him pinned into the corner. Bailin 38, 37. Alejandro Machine 39, 36. I think this will only get better for Bali as well. I think as the rounds go on, if they do, and that will allow Bali to slot back in. But this is positive stuff. This is where Nui needs to be. He needs to hold the centre of the ring. Nice head and bait the oncoming attack. At some point we know in their mid 30s fighters do start to fade. It doesn't look like oh, Bali for shot. Inoue comes back with a good round and a half of action where he's been unlocked for most of it. That will be something to hang on to going into the break. There's a mouse under the Ali gets him backed up, as we can see here, he does let some good shots go. But Inoue there landed his own right hand on the back. This way he doesn't want to be Inoue, doesn't want to be backed up. This is good body work went in from. Obali here, but that was a good live action in there. I'm sure he'd be. Obali just curses. Still to think his way in, Obali. You know, if he does get Columbus front foot, you'll be sure that Anoue will counter you. So it allows Obali to come forward. Really ineffective that Obali just rode back well. The crowd may. Okay, can't question his heart. Flings in a way backwards. Impactful, hurtful shots, and that's what the judges will be spending to 32 earlier on this year. Regardless of tonight's outcome, if you come, you know, the home fans really desperate for a, a double of a young man. Quite a lot to deal with. Kuma and Uwe. See the lack, but just seem to bounce off the head of Ubali, whereas you look at that left hand, Darren, the impact it has and the way it affects performance like this, of course, the narrative could well... It would, it would indeed. I fancy it's actually for him, but I've been impressed with Ubali. Very, very good boxer. Quick hands. He's aggressive. Throws out. Very composed and compact. Just doing everything that he's doing on his own terms, not being pushed back involuntarily. It's around. He has just slowed his output slightly here, but that's too down the centre of the ring instead of pushing a new. But again, I don't want to discredit any of the work that a new, you know, he's really bounced back well after two, three, four. Really thinking. Every time you know it does land a single counter, even because it's been a high work moving, it's got a feel of that amateur style that and the other stop him doing this really is for me like i say a new age works his way to see he's not letting his shots go because he has in, in a 12 round contest chris you know one that you never want to give your opponent the upper hand you know when you've knocked your opponent down it may be a question or a case that he was taking a round off it's something i never would want to do i'd never want to get i want to keep them at rock bottom and just work away but a new way is really a rare occasion, hold centre ring, pushes Ubali back, counter the power in it. As we've seen the jab, he doesn't have that power, so it's more of a snoring shot. Oh, good left hand from Ubali there. Well, and as always, is the cap gather himself, taking his feet back that time, coming back with a right board here. He left hook lads, but then something comes back with something heavier artillery. Stops him from doing that. In this breakdown of the challenger, he really has boxed like a champion tonight after a fast start from. See a new way. I think he knows he's behind on the cards. The corner may have said something to him. He's got to let his hands go. Doesn't want to do anything. He's got to let his hands go. Doesn't want to do anything silly. Because the body does carry the power. as a lovely left to the body. From in fours and fives, but he can go in different phases. Two, then two again, two again. Just needs to start letting it. To start from Inoue, just moved hand from Ubali. Swelling under the right eye. Well, it has, and when it has done so, it's been dangerous. Have a look at the Eastern Berlin 77 74, and a hand of Rashin 70. Maybe not as, as wide as that. I thought it's a couple of rounds. But we've seen here, I think his corner has said to him, he's you know got to get to work now. To slip away from you. Just feeling that have to take a risk and the 
before, you know, the only worry with doing that is the lack of power and the dangerous move. But what do you do, you know, when it's not going your way? You have to try and change something, have to try. Waiting for the counter, leads off that time. Response to the body from Inoue, good work from him, got a short... short. He's a world champion, a good world champion, a very good committed that time. And now Inoue, his championship round, and that's why they called them. It so often be crucial that he's set at the age of 33, just starting to set in. Or he, he is young, 20, you know, inexperienced. Barley has the miles on the clock now. You know, put it on the line. Let it go. Let your shots go. That was a lovely run. Really took the space away from Obali. Step the stuff. It. Yeah, anticipated that left hand. Took the step off and pushed that right hand down the pipe and does it again. Just covers up on the ropes. Needs uh, a knockdown, maybe two, to have any chance of after this as well. And he's got to win them clear. It's just that you know the, la the lack of power. You can't foresee the. And not worried of Bali. So far, this this is the round to me, whether he's feeling the pace or not, that Bali seems to take some deep breaths. Very impressed. I said it before with the heart of the new age. Huge, devastating blow, but it was dividends and he looks a different fighter, no doubt. But developing and developing your skills, that experience, being in there with a world champion. You know, I had the same experience with Sergio Martinez, though there's still a round and a half to go. With an awful lot, you know, I've been impressed with what I've seen. You know, there, there is a knack for, for just being out man, old man, sorry, you know, by Ubali. Just take a back step and bring. Inoue on to some shots, does so there. See now a little burst and Raid getting his breath back, come works and then steps off. Really. The older Inoue in with Ubali, I think it's a great contest, but one where I think Inoue. Just a few seconds left in the penalty, who, bar two or three rounds, has really been the boss this evening. Who, bar two or three rounds, has really been the boss this evening. They go to work again. And Bali content to just dictate range, step it off again. When a Bali watches this contest back, I, I think he'll watch it and be slightly disappointed with him. You know, taking a couple of rounds off, he has switched off to loud. The smaller puncher, the inexperienced. You throw the kitchen sink at somebody and they are still there and you don't see any particular good action again and Inoue found the short right hand and it's good work a balance heavy doesn't look a bit shaky a bit wary of Bali and, he... and seven on the clock and just signs that Nordini Bali for the first time in the contest a huge upset given the pattern of the fight what has Takuma Inoue got left here 50 seconds on the clock, wills himself forwards. Ubali is hurt, and he's largely dominated. And he holds on for the first place. The crowd are going wild here, really trying to rally the round earlier, or even with an extra minute on the clock. He's going for it here in Saito. His brother will be watching this with bated oh. breath. Left hook lands the second one. And he comes forward again. Ubali now fires back as his head cleared. What a way to warm the crowd up for the main event. Both men missing now with wild hooks as the tank starts to empty well. He rode out. It's the fight, he did rally back after that knockdown. In this final round, see it here, I think it was a short right hand to go. Oh, it was a left hook actually. Stunned of Barley, there was the right. And still, the WBC bantamweight champion of the world. My heart is stereo. It beats for you, so listen close Hear my thoughts in every note